Okay, go ahead. <laughs> okay. And in three, two, one. Hello. Hello. And welcome to Fruit Salad. What's today's mix? I'm Geo. And I'm Tabby. Two loons who got a bug for travel. <laughs> Do we ever. We want to thank you so much for joining us on episode nine of our podcast. We're almost at 10 and many more are left to come. Thanks for choosing to burn your time with us today. So, uh, yes. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> All How right, so let's go ahead and get this. Yeah, I was about to say, let's get this shindig started. Oh, uh, do do my week. Well, hmm. how did my week go? Well, I colored my hair. Last week, I told you guys I cut about like a foot off of my hair. That's right. And I decided that, you know, I'm going to go ahead and dye it. Might as well. So I found a dark green color, and I was like, why not? It I've amazing. dyed it every other color in the world. I've had it. Like a dark purple. I've had it red. I've had it like platinum blonde. I've had it black. That's pretty cool. I figured I haven't done green yet. It Next time amazing. it'll be blue. It looks amazing. <laughs> blue is fun. Blue Thank often you. fades to green. Oh, yeah. I'm going to have to do blue next time. Definitely. And, and oh, also, um, I started playing Little Nightmare, so that's actually a really good game. Oh my god, it's so much fun to watch you play it. <laughs> I was actually playing it a little bit earlier today. <laughs> Excellent. Have you been it's doing? Really, I've been doing actually really good. You know, I'm just taking my time with it. So it's like the thing is, is that I bought it because, um, I think for this month it was really cheap on the PlayStation Store. Like, I got that and I think some DLC for, like, $8. That's pretty good. So, I was like, hell yeah, I'll try it out. And turned out it's really, really good. I Yeah, I'm so glad you like it because it's, like, it's such a beautiful game. <laughs> yeah, it's it's got a, it's listed as a horror game, but it's not so scary as to where you don't want to play it. You know, it's right. it's got a very creepy aesthetic and it has its moments, but it's not, like, Outlast scary or yeah it's, or Silent Hill scary doors you just put the controller down and you're like nope I'm noping out of here so yeah. I mean it's really good and it's really creepy that is excellent I'm so glad you like it oh and I've also been helping you design a, a dungeon like the starter dungeon so yes. that's what I've been doing all week yes starting a new campaign and she is my queen of dungeons I am doing my best like I told your group that um Basically, the inspirations I'm drawing from this, I'm going to draw from Legend of Zelda. Um, I gave another instance. Oh, Final Fantasy, Silent Escape Hill. Rooms, and Silent Hill. Because yep. <laughs> uh, I got I to gotta really freak some people out. I got to mess with them. I hope you do. Deanna said she I loves hope. puzzles. So. <laughs> Good. Good. I hope they enjoy the ones I come up with. Because oh, this, sure. the first one, it's just... Um, just a taste i'm not going too heavy like on the puzzle riddle elements just yep. yet later on i'm really gonna i'm gonna go like shit i'm just gonna just let loose good luck <laughs> hell yeah and yeah. what about you what have you been up to all week um you know it's been kind of boring which has been kind of nice for the most part oh yeah, I've just been doing a lot of work on getting, uh, like, painting the house and caulking and getting everything ready on the side so that um, I can install my new greenhouse. Nice. I know, I'm so excited. I My moonflower arrived, um, so that was also a highlight of the week. Um, Yay! So I have my lovely, lovely moonflower now, who is growing in the kitchen, and I throughout the day I shift him so he's in the sun from the skylight. <laughs> Because he's no. a sun plant, so I'm like, stay alive until I get the greenhouse. Um, but yeah, other than that, I um, started dating again. Uh, oh, have you? Yeah. I asked you this, but I already know all this. I'm just, basically, if I ask you something, it's I already know it. I'm just a mouthpiece for the audience. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, do tell me this information I already am well aware of. <laughs> Well, I'm not one to divulge too much openly to the public, but I have started dating again. Um, I met someone new. Um, she's really nice. I've met a ton of people, but, like, I actually got to go on a date yesterday, so. 
Oh, bless it. Yeah, it was pretty nice. So, are you going to tell me what you did? Well, we just, you know, we walked around my little town and um, hung out on the pier and talked for a little while while we drank tea. So, that was actually really enjoyable. Um, okay, the one question I'm sure everybody's going to want to know. What kind of tea did you get? Oh, I got what's called <laughs> yummy berry tea from uh, Better Living Through Coffee in Fort Townsend. Ooh. Very good. It's really good. It has a bunch of berries. So they call it yummy berry. Yummy berry. Yeah. It's delicious. So See, good. down here in the South, we drink us some sweet tea and some <laughs> iced tea. All kinds of tea. Uh-huh. People look at me crazy when I say I drink hot tea. I think that's <laughs> weird. Like, hot tea is so good, but I'm from I know. the Pacific Northwest, so, like, I can drink it all year round. <laughs> yeah, we don't really do hot tea around here. No. But your sweet tea's amazing. Now you ask for tea. Oh, God. See, the thing is, it's weird, is that I like hot tea, but I don't drink sweet tea. I don't like sweet tea at all. I don't like my teas cold. That's but I drink cold coffee, but I don't like my coffee hot. That's perfect. It's so the opposite. It's just really weird. <laughs> but I've tried to like hot coffee. I mean, I was, I had my little Dragon Ball Z mug at work, and you know, I just make my coffee, pretend I'm an adult. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Like this is what adults do. Coffee and never smells down. Good. I sit down and I do the morning show with my hot coffee and I'm just sitting here like, I don't like the taste of this. <laughs> I don't like, I don't like hot coffee. And basically the coffee I drink, you can't even call it coffee. You <laughs> cannot call what I drink coffee because it is so diluted in sugar and creamer that it's candy. <laughs> I taste more of my creamer than I taste the coffee. That's fair. And Jason was, they were like, well, why don't you just get you some coffee flavored creamer? And like, they make that and it's so pointless. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, I want creamer to not taste like coffee. That's fair. I mean, that's really fair. I think coffee but smells terrible, tastes terrible. I love yeah. the smell of coffee. I love the smell of coffee. Well, certain kinds of coffee. There's some coffees to me that Jason brews that smells like fish. I Ew. swear to God, it smells like fish. It's weird. It is like, I think it's just me because he can't tell. He can't, he can't, he smells coffee. It's like, that smells like fish. <laughs> like, how are you drinking this? Like, give me this. <laughs> yep, still smells like fish. What the hell is this? <laughs> <laughs> I think, I think then I go and wash my face just in case, like, my face stinks or something. <laughs> But yeah, I'm just, it's just, every day's an adventure. Mm -hmm. And speaking of adventure, adventure. we're going to talk about, we're going to talk about travel today. The great beyond. And you actually came up with these topics and I was going I through them and, and I'm like, huh. Mm -hmm. I can see who's going to be leading the conversation this week. But you have places you want to go to. Oh yeah, yeah. But like, um. I don't really travel. I've I'm I've always wanted to travel, but uh -huh. I don't I don't get a chance to travel. I've never had a chance to travel very much. Right. But I'm excited to hear about your adventures. So oh, I let's don't have start it off with what, the first thing you came up with. Where would you go if you could go anywhere tomorrow? No worry about cost. Where would you go? So tomorrow. tell me yours. Oof, tomorrow. Tomorrow, um, if you could leave tomorrow, no, no worry about money or anything. Uh, well, it's kind of a tie of one of two places. What's that? Either Scotland, where I've wanted to go my entire flipping life. <clears throat> Ooh. Or Japan. Or? Ah. Yeah. Definitely Japan or Scotland. I can't decide. But yeah, it just depends on what part of my personality is. Uh, <laughs> in, where in, in Japan? Where in Japan do you want to go? I don't know much about Scotland, but I do know a little bit about Japan. <laughs> so Japan, I I really want to see. It's impossible, like in a short amount of time. I want to see everything, but I I really want to go to Tokyo. That's the uh -huh. first stop is Tokyo. I wanted I want to do the. Uh, 
capsule hotel. <laughs> which I oh, yes. One night. Um, I have a feeling you would lose your mind in there. <laughs> I would. I would. I'd have an Airbnb, but I'd want to do a capsule hotel one night so I could have a backup plan if I hate it. Um, there you go. Yeah, that was my plan all along. Um, because I wanna, I wanna visit all the different like districts of Tokyo. I wanna see a whole bunch. Um, I definitely mm -hmm. wanna visit Kyoto. Um, I would like to pay my respects to Nagasaki and Hiroshima as well as just like see the north end of the island, Fox Island, or you know like all the different things that they have with the bat winged deer. And I really wanna go in spring with the sakura festivals and whatnot. Yeah. Pretty much just Japan. <laughs> <laughs> just Japan. <laughs> um well yeah what about you well for me if i could go anywhere tomorrow no worry about costs i would go <laughs> two places i can't choose which <laughs> i'd really like to go to seoul south korea mm -hmm. and i would like to go to japan as well <laughs> Indeed. i would like to visit tokyo um osaka mm -hmm. and hokkaido mm -hmm. Yep, so, yeah, I would love oh good the food. Uh, that's yes. the thing. Uh, like bring my wee bass over there. Yeah, I'll flip out over the oh, oh no. No 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 no. Yeah, the food <laughs> definitely. But there is one place I really want to go. Mm. And I am hoping that by the time we're able to drag our little weeaboo asses over there uh -huh. is I hope that the Final Fantasy fourteen Aorzia Cafe is still open. <gasps> Yeah, definitely, because we'd have to go there. I made a very strange sound. Oh, my God. <laughs> Don't you edit that out. That. that was perfect. That was, like, that was the, like the sound of your soul leaving your body. <laughs> it really was. I, I, can't even, I can't even replicate that. It's like, oh. Oh, my God. I, like I said, we're loons. <laughs> they make weird noises. But they... Oh, and speaking of that, speaking of that, staying on the topic of 14, um, <laughs> there's a Final Fantasy 14 cookbook coming out in <laughs> November as well, and I'm waiting to pre-order it. I'm I so excited it. for that. Let me know when it comes it's, up. Oh, I will, because we're both of our asses are going to be pre-ordering it, I'm mm -hmm, sure. Mm -hmm. But at the cafe, they're going to, they sell like uh, 14 themed foods and like character foods and <laughs> it's, oh my God. I just want to just I just look around and I see where I'm at and I'm like mm. why am I not in the ARZ a cafe right now I could to. be there oh right gosh. now you could you could flipping through menus that have pictures of Imrick's fine ass and <laughs> Alfino's precious booty and it's true and Stinian and Raubon <laughs> okay all right we got to stop because we're talking travel we're not talking 14 all right what countries are on your bucket list? <laughs> well, the desire to travel is mixed with a bunch of different things, so I think you can give yourself a break. It's okay. <laughs> no doubt. <laughs> <laughs> but what are the countries on my bucket list? I... Yes. All right, buckle in. Oh, man, this might change my first answer, actually. Oh, oh Lord. <laughs> it does. It does change my first answer because I just remembered. Um, okay. Yeah. So this is... Mine are kind of going to be ranked. So number one, Bhutan. Um, where's where is that? Bhutan is in the Himalayas. Is that it's, India? It's not India. It's its own country oh. called Bhutan. Um, it, I believe shares. You can tell I didn't Tibet. pay attention in like <laughs> geography class. Oh, you wouldn't have learned of this place. Like their national sport is archery and like their emperor gets to choose to marry whoever he wants, commoner and anybody else. It's it's very holistic. They don't have many cars. Everything's mostly like horse or mule drawn. Um it's pretty cool. Um I really want to go there. Um I want to go to Nepal. I want to go to Japan. I want to go to Scotland. I want to go to um Ireland would be fun. Um Norway, I would love These are all on your bucket list right oh yeah yeah they are okay. uh -huh. i mm -hmm. didn't know that we were still on the question one again because you had to take a step back <laughs> no i said they were i was related. like wait a second you can't you can't add all these to question one what are you talking about <laughs> okay run them through run them through me again because i had a 
my brain I had a brain fart, a massive brain fart. So it's okay. Tell them, tell them, tell them. All right, Bhutan, Bhutan, Nepal. <laughs> okay. Uh, Japan, South Korea. I really want to see. Um, I'd love to see Thailand. Um, I'd love to go to the Maldives. Kind of just sticking regionally for a minute. Then like New Zealand, um, Australia. I would really like to see Africa. I'm not sure where. Probably Egypt would be my first bet. Um, and then just have some more fun in Europe, in Germany, go back to Italy, maybe go back to France. I don't know. <laughs> okay, you've listed 12 places. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was counting. Yep, I, yeah. I think the easiest question would be, what country's not on your bucket list? Oh, plenty. <laughs> <laughs> What country is not on your bucket list? Honestly, if I had a chance to go anywhere, for the most part, barring a few, like, either war-torn areas or places that just aren't safe to travel in right now, I would right. go anywhere in, in a heartbeat. I'm, I'm spontaneous like that. I love to travel. Um, I got a taste of it when I was in high school, and I just, I don't want to stop. I want my life to afford me the ability to travel. No. Yeah. Definitely. What about you? <laughs> <laughs> what about me? Um, okay, of course there's Japan. There's um, mm -hmm. there's South Korea. I'd like to go to. Mm -hmm. I'd like to visit Great Britain, mm -hmm. England. Mm -hmm. I'd like to visit them. Um, Germany, especially, so oh, yeah. I can go and view Auschwitz and you know cry like a baby. Yeah. I would, that's, that's really on my bucket list is I want to go and see Auschwitz. Um, me too. Iceland. I'd love to go and see Iceland. Oh, me too. Um, <laughs> let's see. What else? I don't really have as many places as you. <laughs> <laughs> I just um, want to see everything. The Philippines. Oh, yeah. I'd like to go and see the Philippines. That'd be neat. And I guess like Taiwan and Thailand too. Mm-hmm. I think that's about it for me. Pretty mm -hmm. much, I'd like to go to visit a lot of the Asian countries. Mm -hmm. Like, and that's that's also including like um, Kazakhstan and um, Mongolia. Oh, Mongolia would be so cool. The culture. So, I mean, pretty much a lot of the Asian cultures. Not cultures. <laughs> you got, got me on cultures. <laughs> A lot of the Asian countries I would love to visit. Mainly my top being Japan, um, South Korea, North Korea, if I can, you know, jump the fence Don't and then it. jump back out. <laughs> no. <laughs> I was like, I'm going on an adventure. <laughs> um, and then like the Philippines, places like that. Yeah. But let's see. What's the next thing? Because I had one prepared. Um, if you had to spend an entire year somewhere, where would it be? Pick one place. No. Um, an entire year? You said somewhere, not somewheres. That's true. Um, if I had to spend an entire year somewhere, where would it be? Um, so, first of all, I'd have to be sure that I'd be absolutely crazy happy to be there. So, it would be Scotland. Scotland? Yeah, because at least there isn't, like, as many language barriers. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, um, I, I don't know Japanese. I know hardly any, um, but I, I probably know more Scottish Gaelic than I do Japanese. Weirdly I believe enough. that. Um, yeah, crazy. Um, but yeah, I would I would really love to spend an entire year in Scotland. Honestly, the chances of me coming back at that point at the end of the year are very minimal. You wouldn't come back. <laughs> I don't think you I would. would not come back. I would have to ship myself overseas. I mean, like I actually have a good reason. I don't know to like come back now. I I don't know. It'd be harder now, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> well, hmm. I'll just ship everybody to you. We'll all go live in Scotland. Perfect. In your little, in your little Scottish world. castle. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be so cool. But yeah, I'd love to go on hikes there. You know, it never gets, like, stupid hot. It's um, 
cool, rainy most of the time, and the landscape in like the northern highlands and the western highlands, even though there's like nothing there, but that's the point. There's nothing there. It's beautiful. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> well, as for me, if I had to spend an entire year somewhere, and like you mentioned, the language barrier will have a lot to do with my choice. <laughs> I would pick Great Britain. Yeah. I would pick Great Britain mainly because of the language barrier. You know, I could survive there mm -hmm. for a whole year. I'd just have trouble learning their currency. Mm -hmm. Um but you know, I could figure that out after it would be I real quick. After I go bankrupt a few times. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> um, um mainly I'd like to go to Great Great Britain. The food there's awesome. Um <laughs> okay. The fashion there is awesome. <laughs> The okay, sites yeah. there are awesome. Right, I, could stalk, I could stalk Paul Hollywood there. <laughs> oh, God. You know, I could stalk him. Just, I could, who else, who else could I stalk? I could stalk Benedict Cumberbatch. I could stalk him there, too. You Benedict know, stalking is bad. <laughs> I could live in, I could live in their closet, mm -mm. in their attic, mm -mm. you know. Mm -mm. You know, sit up there and eat my crisps. <laughs> my fish and chips <laughs> pray they don't find me <laughs> no darling while I, while I drill a hole in the ceiling and no. watch them sleep no darling watch them sleep <laughs> Louise calm down <laughs> I'd go down at night and I would pet them <laughs> oh my god anyway alright let's see uh, have the you ever wanted to backpack across Europe I've never wanted to backpack anywhere because my ass doesn't go outside. Um, my ass, my ass is staying in the attic of Paul Hollywood's mansion. Oh I'll dear. backpack there. Fantastic. Um, but no, like it, it would depend on the company. Like if it was you and me, yeah. then yeah, definitely, I would definitely do it. But if it was just me by myself, no, because no, I would be picked up and left for dead. Yeah, no, but like you and me, that would be super fun. Um, oh yeah, that definitely would be fun until we rip our, rip our faces off. I know it's not so easy to do it anymore, but like my grandparents backpacked across Europe and South America. It was pretty cool. Like it's, they climbed Mount Kilimanjaro. I have their certificate. Like they were cool people, but. Yeah, I it, wait. You get it? What you get a certificate for climbing Mount Kilimanjaro? You did when they did it. Yeah, I want a certificate. I know, right? I would love to climb Mount Kilimanjaro. Um, yeah, but my yes. ass would die on that mountain. <laughs> <laughs> if my, I, ass would, my ass would die three feet up. Like yeah, I'm, I'm too done. hard. Yeah, no, I'd have to be in shape for it for sure. But um. Yes, I think I would want to backpack across Europe if my like safety was guaranteed, which it's not. But yeah. well, Panda, I have a mountain-based question. Okay. All right. If you and me was trapped on a mountain, yeah, and we had no food, mm -hmm. and we did not know when we would be rescued, yeah. If I died, would you eat me? Considering that I can hunt, no. <laughs> <laughs> what if I give you my express permission that you could eat me before um, I die well you're not gonna die we're both gonna make it off the mountain first of all <laughs> um, I know how to hunt I know what plants are safe to eat um, yeah we're gonna be what fine plants are, what plants are you gonna find on the mountain there's like snow up there are you talking like Mount Everest yeah well shit <laughs> Like, but are you asking like me, like, my... if I have... I wouldn't eat you, because you're my best friend. But, like, if you're if asking me... Dead, <laughs> will you just drag my body around? Yeah, I'd get you back down. I'd probably <laughs> die with you. Honestly, if you died, I probably would have died first, because I'm, I'm okay. so not in shape. Okay, here we go. All right. And <laughs> if, <laughs> if we're trapped at the top of Mount Edwards, uh -huh. and I'm dead... I give you full permission to use my body as a snowboard and ski your way down. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Just ride my ass down. Like, I'll, I'll Panda, we made tools. it. I'll cherish We made it, tools. Panda. <laughs> oh you know, God. you can 
break off my arms and use them as, you know, like the little ski poke poles. <laughs> I mean, you know, just cut you open, retrieve your bones, make some snowshoes, climb my way down. Yeah. No, I would not. That's horrific. <laughs> Are you kidding me? What do you think I am? A psychopath? <laughs> Jesus. I forgot I'm the psychopath. <laughs> I'm the anyway. Anyway, before we got on cannibalism and dragging my corpse around, you got there uh, so early. I thought you were gonna save those for last. No, no. <laughs> These people know us by now. Hey, I know a... I ain't got no kill. I got a question for you. All right, give me a question. If you could travel to space, would you? Hell yeah, I would. Mm-hmm. I want to, you know, float around, do somersaults in the air. <laughs> I applied for one of those Omaze prizes, which was two tickets on the next commercial flight into space. Oh, really? Yeah, which is like in a couple of months. I applied for it. So, like, if I get them, do you want to go with me? Hell yeah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Going to space, bitch! Hell yeah! <laughs> Fruit salad in space. Oh my god. If if I die before I see our planet from outer space, it will have been an unfulfilling life. Yeah. Don't say that. <laughs> Don't say that. No, I mean, like, that's how important it is to me, though. I want to see it. I want to be out there. I want to know what it's like. <sighs> the silence must be supreme. This topic is going to end up depressing me. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna log off and I'm gonna be like, well oh, shit. Yeah. Huh. Damn. Go <laughs> go back to my hovel. <laughs> all right, all right. Well, what about road trips? Road trips? How many, um, how many how many road trips have you come on, you had to have driven somewhere that took longer than an hour. Well, let's see. Let's go over to places I've been. I've been to Arkansas. I've been to Alabama, mainly just to drive through it. I've been to Florida. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I've been to Florida. I've been to Louisiana because I was born there. Um, let's see. I've been to Tennessee. That's where my dad's family's from. Mm. So I'm like a Cajun hillbilly. <laughs> <laughs> You're precious. Um, I think that's about it. Well, that's cool, though. You're pretty regional. I, I, yeah, I pretty much just stay in my surrounding states. I've never really been outside of the country, although I'm dying to. I I really do want to travel. Seriously, the I next really time do. I go, you're coming with me. Oh, God, please kidnap me. I Take will. me with you. I will. Okay. Jason will Take have to deal you. with it. Or catch a flight and try and catch me if you can, bitch. <laughs> just, just stuff me in your uh, luggage and I'll no. sneak out when he's not looking. <laughs> Perfect. Well, what about you? Me. I mean, I don't really have a road trip story. Pretty much, um, mm -hmm. my road trips are pretty uneventful. You know, just point A to point B. Yeah. But I, I do remember, um, when I was a child. We were driving to Tennessee to visit my dad's family. Mm -hmm. And I remember sitting in the back seat of the car and, you know, doing coloring books that my mom got me. Aww. You know, that's what I remember the most. It's pretty much as eventful as my road trips have been. Other than that, when we go on road trips, it's just grab snacks, yeah. listen to the radio, check the phone, make sure we're going in the right direction. What snack do you have to have for a road trip? Everybody's huh, well, one. well, it depends. Um, sometimes it's chips, mm -hmm. um, but I think my favorite road snack has to be um, fruit snacks, like not gummy worms or gummy rings, but in some gas stations around here, they'll sell like a big ass pack of like Welch's fruit snacks, <laughs> yep. and I'll grab like the strawberry flavored pack, mm -hmm. and if they don't have those, then I'll grab like the assorted fruit. And I'll just crack that bitch open, and I, I I could eat I can eat that in like five seconds. I have to remember to pace myself with these. That's fantastic. <laughs> but my essential road drink is Sprite. <laughs> perfect, perfect. I love it. 
But what about you before we shift to road trip stories? I want to know what's your essential drink and what's your essential snack? Well, um, my essential drink is water. (laughs) I am not fancy. No, you're not. Um, Unless you talk about fancy water. Like your Fiji. Fiji's your the best tasting Aquafinas. water. Fiji's the best tasting water aside from my own well water. Honestly, it tastes you know delicious. That's, you know that came from somebody's tap, right? <laughs> I, I drink from my own tap on our well water because it's delicious. <laughs> um, you, know, you know, Nestle's just, you know, pumping water out from the, from the freaking hose. It's just artisanal water from the natural springs <laughs> and somebody's just like in their backyard just <laughs> with a garden hose like <laughs> shaking their head yeah um <laughs> as far as like food for snacks goes yeah jerky i have to have jerky for a road trip plain and simple. Uh, you're a jerky person mm-hmm. if i don't have jerky for a road trip it's cursed it's a cursed trip you have to have jerky before you go i'm superstitious see i'm not a i'm not a fan of jerky mm-hmm. <laughs> i mean they're I have to be in a mood for jerky. I don't. Like, the best thing I ever found was bacon jerky. Ooh, and I could eat my weight in that. But as far as, like, Jack Link's jerky or Slim Jims or stuff like that, I can do without. I have I, to be in a special mood for jerky. I am a jerky connoisseur. I've had buffalo jerky, bear jerky. Um, I've had bison jerky, which I think buffalo and bison jerky are the same thing. Um... Chicken jerky, venison jerky, elk jerky. What about uh, horse jerky? Ew, no. Well, you know they eat horse in like Kazakhstan, right? And Iceland, yeah. I'd try it, but I'd I have a dilemma try horse. the whole time. <laughs> I'm, I'm I horse. love horses. You're like you're you're such a Tina. I'm such a Tina. It's so awkward. Uh... <laughs> So you're a Tina and I'm a Louise. It's very good. I love it's that. We get along. Um, but as far as like my favorite road trip story, uh, <laughs> it has to be. Yeah, tell my... me. Oh, sorry. Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. I was just saying, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. Okay. Um, when my mom and I moved from Connecticut back to Idaho, when I was going into my senior year of high school, the summer before we moved. And although the circumstances were, like, awful, it was honestly the best road trip I've ever been on. Because we drove all the way from Connecticut to North Idaho, which is, like, oh, really? more than 3,000 miles, I think. Oh, my God. Or it's, like, 2,998 or something like that. It's real close. Um, it's about 3,000. Yeah, it's about 3,000. It's basically across the country. Um, <laughs> anyway, we... We got all the way out to Ohio on day one. Oh my god. Which is pretty far. (laughs) That's very, very far. My mom is very much a point A to point B person. I fell asleep when we hit Ohio. As soon as that corn started, I was like, nah, man, I'm done. (laughs) I'm out. And, um, yeah, we we stopped there and we slept at a, um, just like a pit stop. Like with all those other truckers and stuff, we're just parked. Oh, at a rest stop. Yeah, at a rest stop. We just locked the car. We had a big old pit bull in the back seat, and I was, you know, passenger. My mom was in the driver's seat. It was creepy, but we were both exhausted, so we slept. Um, you got to. You, you, <laughs> you didn't think to find a motel. It was my mom. We didn't have a motel until we hit um Michigan. Oh goodness. That was where we got the second day. It took us three days four days to this four days um yeah we got to michigan and we stopped and actually slept in a hotel room for the night uh, oh i bet you were so glad to have a bed oh i was we had we snuck the dog in <laughs> and, <laughs> i know um and the next day was the stretch to wyoming but we were driving through south dakota as one does when you're driving that way and south dakota is nothing there's there's nothing there's <laughs> nothing there there's nothing, to see nothing here. there we had to stop like they told they warned us when we were leaving they're like hey when you go through the stretch every time you see a gas station stop and fill up and we're like really the gas stations are 200 and like 90 miles apart <laughs> like, oh my of god course, yeah of course I've... you're gonna stop for gas are you kidding me i would have been driven out of my mind 
I got to see the Badlands from like a super far distance, but they were still pretty cool. And then I begged my mom to take us to Mount Rushmore, right? Because there was nothing in South Dakota. And then all of a sudden, Mount Rushmore, Mount Rushmore. And I'm like, let's go to Mount Rushmore. I want to see it. I was such a big national treasure nerd. So uh -huh. I, I wanted to go and see it. My mom caved in. She was like, all right. Like, I can't do this to her. I can't, like, put her through this miserable trip and then, like, not take her to see this. So, mind you, we're in a Ford F-150. Uh-huh. Pulling a trailer. Like, one of those U-Haul trailers. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. I think it was a 25-foot. Like, it was it was a beefy trailer or, like, a 20-foot, something like that. And the back of the pickup bed is just full. We look like the Beverly Hillbillies. Oh. Getting up to Mount Rushmore... It is the steepest incline I've ever seen in my life. We we get up there. We've burned almost all of our gas getting up the mountain. We get up there and my mom is pissed, right? And she goes, oh my God, if we have to pay for parking, we're not stopping. Well, parking costs about 20 bucks. So we get up there and my mom goes, I just need to turn around. And she goes, you better take your pictures because we're leaving. And oh. so I have to snap pictures in the car really far away from the parking lot to get like, I've been to Mount Rushmore, kind of. And so... <laughs> We start heading back I, down the mountain. I saw the parking lot. <laughs> I saw the parking it's, lot. It's the best parking lot in the world, guys. Right. I did get a picture of Mount Rushmore because I'm skilled like that. But we're going down. We had to take the entire way down in first gear so we didn't burn out our brakes because we were trucking. We had all this weight behind us. And we yeah. were laughing. We're we're past the point of being paranoid. We're past the point of pairing, caring. We're like, if we die, we die. We're laughing this the whole way down. This is it. This is this has killed us, right? But we make it down just fine. Fill up on gas and keep heading our way. We make it to Wyoming, have to sleep, and then we finally make it to North Idaho the next day. But it was such a chaotic and weird amount of like time all crunched into like really tight space that it was the weirdest and still oddly the most fun road trip I've ever been on. <laughs> that's actually pretty cool i've i've never been on a multi multi-day spanning trip before that's insane it it is insane it's actually not very fun in the moment but like <laughs> looking back on it it's yeah. it's a lot of good memories it is it definitely is well what we have next is what is your favorite flying story and i've never flown Oh, shit, that's right. I've never been on an airplane. Damn. Never been within five feet of an airplane. Never been inside an airport. <laughs> <laughs> so, take it away, Panda. Well, Jesus. Um, <laughs> and the hilarious part is I'm, I don't like to talk all that much. Um, so, <laughs> favorite flying I told story. You, I told y'all. I told y'all. I don't really travel, so. I've been lucky Panda's enough to. Yeah. yeah, she's been lucky enough to share her stories. So uh, I'm 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 as much of a uh, spectator as you guys are this time, and I'm loving it. Oh, I'm fantastic. loving it. Um, my favorite flying story. Let's see. Uh, probably when I was eleven. Yes, a wee little thing. Um, I flew by myself for the first time. Before that, I had flown like four or five times. I was I was a veteran flyer by the age of eleven. Um. Because at the time we lived out in New York and my grandparents would want us to visit like every summer. So we did. We just flew from, you know, New York to Idaho. Well, Washington, but whatever. Um, so <laughs> my favorite flying story, I was 11 years old. Um, got This is back when you could actually walk your kids to the gate, even if you didn't have like a boarding pass. Mm-hmm. Before TSA tried to crawl up your butt. Thank you for doing a great job, TSA, by the way. I've just had the worst <laughs> luck with you guys. I appreciate you, but I hate you at the same time. Um, <laughs> I think everybody feels that way about them. <laughs> we appreciate them, but we hate them sometimes. Oh, yeah. No, not hate. Hate such a strong word. We, we're very annoyed with you. We're very disgruntled <laughs> with you. <laughs> disgruntled, that's the word. But thank we'll you for doing your job. Um, so... This was before, like I said, TSA was everywhere. You could just, if you didn't have a boarding pass and you were just seeing someone off to their gate, you could literally walk them to the gate and watch them get on their plane. Um, it was really cool. <laughs> but my parents took me to my gate and I got on my plane to go to O'Hare, 
can stop in Chicago because there's hardly any one ways that go all the way from um, New York to Washington. So you always have to stop over for a changeover somewhere. I'd been to O'Hare the most, so they made sure it was O'Hare. I could get around the airport, you know, like <laughs> so super easy. But I get there. I'm an unaccompanied minor, so I have a special badge and there's a flight attendant there waiting to take me to my next uh, plane, basically. She's right. new, though, and she does not know O'Hare. It's her first time there. So with a map, she takes me to the unaccompanied minors room. I'm looking at her like she's crazy because I have 45 minutes to catch my next plane. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going, we don't have time. My, I'm in the, 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 the gate I need to leave in is literally in the other, um, what do they call it, concourse? The other concourse or the other um, wing of the airport. And so I'm like, we need to go. And she goes, no, honey, you just sit here and wait, and then we'll find out where you're playing. And I'm like, I know where I'm going. I wait for her to leave, and I, I left. <laughs> I let that, you that's... probably gave her a heart attack. Oh, I did. I did. This is the hilarious part. So I get myself to my concourse. I get on the plane. I give the lady my, I'm just confident. Confidence gets you anywhere. So I'm just walking behind this other family, give the lady my ticket. She looks at it, and she's like, oh, have a nice flight. Gives it back to me. She didn't ask me any questions. I get on the plane. And um, we're supposed to take off. I'm going, man, I wonder if the plane's delayed. And they're like, we're just having difficulties. Uh, you know, we beg your patience for a couple minutes longer type of a thing. Um, come to find out, they held the plane because I was missing. <laughs> 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 so this poor lady came back, found me gone, completely panicked. She's like, oh, shit. Um, yeah, there was, like, alarms going off in the airport. Got snatched. Um, people thought I got kidnapped. They came and checked the plane. Somebody had the idea after, like, 20 minutes of this plane being delayed to come and check the plane. And I'm sitting there, happy as a clam in my seat. And I'm just like, they're like, oh, my God, you're here. And I'm like, of course I'm here. My plane is here. <laughs> <laughs> and they, they explained what happened. They had to call my mom, and she's like, well, she got herself to her plane, didn't she? <laughs> Bless it. And I just flew my happy butt all the way to Idaho and had, like, an awesome yeah. summer for a month with my grandparents. <laughs> I can just imagine you sitting there as the plane's taking off. You're looking out the window, <laughs> and a single word just crosses your mind. Dumbasses. <laughs> <laughs> it, it was very similar, yeah. I was very disgruntled, as one would say. <laughs> that's the best <laughs> it's one of my favorite flying stories ever all right well oh you've you've traveled enough like a little bit have you ever had like a really scary thing that's happened to you while you were traveling no 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 <laughs> none that i can think of no no you're lucky <laughs> oh wait maybe maybe there is one good okay. um Traveled all the way to Florida and, you know, person I was with at the time, I was like, you do got us a, you got us a hotel, right? You got us some, you got us a room, right? <laughs> like, we don't need, we don't need to worry about that. We don't need to worry about that. We'll get one when we get there. Cause we're going to Pensacola. And I'm like, right. okay, I've never been to Florida before. And I'm like, okay, I trust you. Mm -mm. So we're riding around and I'm like, all right, let's find us a room. Pull up to a hotel. We have no vacancies. Pull into another. We have no vacancies. <laughs> Pull into another. We have no vacancies. And I'm looking at him like, <laughs> what did I tell you? Huh? <laughs> yeah. Next time you'll listen to my ass, won't you? Yep. You dumbass. So, <laughs> I didn't call him that, but I was like, yeah. Uh -huh. I'm just sitting there staring out the window, just seething. And I'm like, I am not sleeping in this truck. I am not sleeping in this truck. We're going to drive our asses back home i don't mm -hmm. care i'm not sleeping in this truck Absolutely. so we had to drive like i think like a good 30 45 minutes away to find a room and i'm like i told you <laughs> dragging my suitcase into the room and i'm looking at him like i told you i told ya. Uh -uh, you so yeah that's pretty much the scariest thing is that um didn't listen to me that would be scary <laughs> Turn around, find, drive all this way just to find we don't have a room. Yeah. So that's, it's not scary, but that's pretty much the worst experience I've had on a trip. I'd be freaked out. So I can, I can understand putting it in that category. I wasn't sure. freaked out. I was pissed. <laughs> oh, well, yeah, that too. But I would also be like, it's nighttime in a place I don't know. 
<laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, for me, scariest thing that's ever happened while traveling: emergency crash landing. Yep. Plane, right? Plane. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I was actually traveling for a funeral in Arizona. Oh, the coincidence. <laughs> oh, yeah, it was bad. The um, irony of it. <laughs> that was pretty terrible. Um, it was terrifying, actually. And it helped me write um, the start for my D&D campaign, actually. Um, I have firsthand experience of what it's like to be in horrific turbulence, have your plane struck by lightning, lose all of your electrical systems, and have your pilot land it manually. And yeah. where did this plane go down at? Um... Charlotte, I believe, is where we made it. We had to have a plane fly in from Raleigh. But yes, I think we were in Charlotte. I think. This is Virginia? Yeah, on East Coast. I'm so sorry about don't my ask dogs. Them. No, I love hearing the boopers. But don't ask, like, I have, like, a useless well of information. Uh -huh. So... The only reason I know, like, Charlotte and Raleigh is because um, Chris Chan lives in Virginia. Oh, my God. Of course that's why. <laughs> so that's the only reason I know about this place. Well. <laughs> it wasn't Charlottesville, was it? It was just Charlotte? Charlottesville. Maybe it was Charlottesville. I was, oh, like, I was, like, shit. 12 or 13. I, I, I can't, honestly, I can't remember. Um, you could have been very close to Chris Chan. It's true. I do know that I was flying U.S. Air. <laughs> and the very... hilarious... Oh, go ahead. You're probably very close to Sonichu headquarters. I hate that. Um... <laughs> so... I am an amateur historian, everybody. Don't worry about it. Moving it's a on. sickness. She's fine. Um, so, <laughs> so um, the hilarious and also terrifying part, when we finally got our plane um, and landed in Phoenix, as we were landing our pilot goes well if you look to your left you can see another plane wasn't so lucky there's a plane in the ditch it had its wing broken off it had like crashed a couple minutes before u.s air <laughs> oh my god what I'm is going on over there i'm not even kidding it was terrifying and like my mom and i were looking at each other like i don't know if we want to fly back she's horrible she's she has a fear of flying i'm totally chill in an airplane i think they're great but yeah, it was... Oh my, God, my husband would have died. He oh, would have yeah. had a cardiac arrest because he is phobic of flying. His happy ass got to fly all over the place before he suddenly had a phobia. Mm. <laughs> and says, well, I'm not flying anymore. <laughs> well, the 30 plus times I've been on airplanes, that's only happened to me once. So. Pretty safe. I've always, I've always wanted to fly. You're gonna. You're gonna one day. I'm going to make sure. I believe it. I believe it. Yeah. I believe in you. Yeah. I believe in us. I, I believe, believe in, in pandas. I believe in fruit salad. I believe. I believe. All right. Um, That's a pretty messed up story, though. <laughs> it is messed up. Uh, what about, like, the weirdest or coolest thing that's ever happened while you were traveling? I'm I'm, I'm begging for an answer here. No, <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> I feel like such a loon. Um... The coolest thing that ever happened to me, well, I don't really have anything weird, but the coolest thing that ever happened to me while traveling was um, me and Jason were actually on a road trip and we were driving a, a long distance. Like we're not used to driving distances like this far. Mm -hmm. So, cause you know, we drive at most like to the town that's like maybe 45 minutes away. Right. You know, we don't really go on hour long trips, hours long trips. And, you know, I'm following the map and I'm making sure we're going in the right direction, you know, eating snacks and sipping my Sprite. And all of a sudden we end up in someone's driveway oh. and we get out and it was the coolest thing because my panda was there. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> For a little while, my mom lived in the same neck of the woods, a couple hours away. Um, mm -hmm. and like I, four hours away. It was like, yeah. oh God, it was like a... It was a long drive, but it was worth every minute of it. It was the best thing. I was I was so frantic. I was pacing, and my mom was like, you're acting like a lunatic. And I was. <laughs> I was. And she made me start making wontons instead because I was literally nervous. But I sped through it so fast that she was that I was just back to pacing. 
And you got there and I was just like, oh my God, what do I do? And I just like froze. <laughs> it's like, panda? I remember you just standing in the doorway. It was like, panda? Is that my panda? Is that my panda? You're like, you're like hi. It's like, ah! But then, then everything was fine. It was fantastic. It was the best yeah, day of my just, life. I, know, I was really nervous too on the drive over there. My palms were all sweaty because this was like the first and only time we've ever been like face to face with each other. So it was like really nerve wracking. Yeah. It was like, <sighs> but it was great. Like within a couple minutes, we were just like, oh, this is normal. <laughs> no, this is normal. This is this is how we do. Right. It's just getting. It's just like that first step. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Well, damn it, that was going to be my coolest thing that's ever happened to really? me while traveling. Yeah, it was. It actually was, because I'm such a sap. Um, damn it. But let's see Wish. if I have another one. Mm. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's still your thunder. <laughs> no, it's okay. I'll do a weird one instead. Um, okay. Weirdest slash most annoying slash most aggravating slash I hate France thing that's ever happened to me while I'm traveling. No, um, I have a feeling this has to do with France. <laughs> <laughs> Why keep it away? <laughs> Um, at this point, the only reason I want to go back to France is to visit the Louvre. Um, and that's final. <laughs> that's However, it. Um, when I was a freshman in high school, bougie high school, guys, it got really lucky at this point in my life. Um, yeah, very bougie because, uh, my field trips at school, <laughs> well, you're lucky if you ask me going to the zoo. All right? <laughs> uh, yeah, my choir decided to go to Italy. And we, oh, our first layover bitch. was in France. Yeah, I know. It's okay. It's all right. I understand. I deserve it. Okay, it's wait, okay. wait. The fanciest field trip my school has ever had was we went to see the Museum of Versailles. You know, <gasps> when they were, when they were, you know, unpacked and everything yeah. in, um, in Hattiesburg. I'm going to go ahead and say it. I'm from Mississippi. It's been like nine episodes. We know each other now. I'm in Mississippi. <laughs> I, right. I ain't ashamed no more. But it's like in Hattiesburg. Uh, <laughs> they had set up the um, Museum of Versailles. And that's mm. like pretty much the fanciest place I've been to on a that's field trip. Cool. But tell me about your bougie trip. You know, uh, your, your luxurious Italian trip. <laughs> I know. I still can't believe I got to do this. Like I said, I got really lucky at this point in my life. Um, I'm excited. Tell me, tell me. Tell me. <laughs> we... It was going to Italy. We were going to be in the Tuscany region, visiting like Rome and a bunch of places. We were scheduled to sing at a bunch of different churches. Um, and it was kind of a big thing. Like we were we were going there and we were touring basically with our choir. And so I was part of the chamber choir. I went with them. Our first layover after 14 hours in a plane. We got on the plane at like I can't remember if it was like 11 o'clock at night or 2 o'clock in the morning. It doesn't really matter. But, but it was a really high flight. Yeah, it was, it was a late flight. And I had one friend who was drugged because he was terrified of flying, but he wasn't going to miss the opportunity to go to Italy. Um, so it was fun watching him try and open an orange juice and proceed to spill it all over his laugh, laugh and then oh, suck no. his shirt to drink his drink. Anyway, um, <laughs> so... When we get to France, they made us go through security again, which I understand now is completely normal when you travel internationally. But mm -hmm. while we were going through security, they took me and the only other slightly, you know, overweight, kind of pudgy girl and basically got to the point where they threatened to strip search us because they thought we were drug mules. <laughs> um, they they dumped, you were mules? <laughs> yeah, they dumped both of our purses out on the floor oh my god it was awful the, i the reason that i don't like france um they dumped all of our both of our purses out on the floor forced us to go through it all watched us pick it back up did not help us um proceeded to dump out our luggage that we had like our carry-on that we had with us mm -hmm. and then forced us to put it all back together while there are other people waiting to go through the line, they're yelling at us to hurry up in French, which I don't speak. My f other friend that was also in the same predicament as me did speak French. She took French to the Spanish. So, yeah, almost got strip searched in France if it wasn't for my mother and our tour guide stopping them. We would have been pulled into another room. God knows what would have happened. But yeah, then we got on the um. Well, no, we had a layover for like two hours in that airport. Um, 
Supposedly, it was one of the most beautiful airports. I read about it. I was super excited about it. Super disappointed. It was muggy. They didn't even have air conditioning. It was terrible. Everything was under construction. And there was nowhere to eat food. Oh, so God. then we just got on this tiny little Cessna, flew through the Italian Alps, and then landed in Florence. And life was instantly better. <laughs> <laughs> and then you left France. <laughs> yep. But that's about it. Yeah. Which is really weird that you hate France. I love the language. I have a character that absolutely loves France and all he wants to do is go to France and he's one of your favorite characters. Uh Uh-huh. Yeah, no, I love love it. But I um, hate the airport (laughs) and um, definitely need to have a redo. I'll keep my mind open for sure. But um, it's certainly tainted my opinion of the French people. (laughs) No. Maybe when we go back one day, it'll be different. I hope so. Yeah. Drug mules. Jesus. <laughs> I was like 16. Are you kidding? No, I was I was 14. That's right, I was 14. I got to drink when I was over there. Legal drinking age in Italy is 14, and my mom was a chaperone, so... Woo! <laughs> he was like, yes! <laughs> my mom was like, sure. <laughs> Knock yourself but out. But did you... But did you have an Italian Nona cook for you? While I was in Italy, no. When I lived back at home, yes. She lived. She was from Sicily. She was, at that time, um, in high school, she was my best friend's uh, grandmother. Nona. Oh, that's so cool. That is so cool. Literally called her Nona. She made the best desserts. Said she was from Sicily. Um, learned a little bit of Italian so I could speak with her. She helped me learn Italian before I went over there. It was cool. That is really cool. Yeah, kind of sweet. But yeah, that's uh, I think that's about it. Is it now? Well, yeah. that should just about wrap it up for this week's episode. Thank you so much for joining us on this podcast of Fruit Salad. What's today's mix? <laughs> the show where we daydream about the great adventures we're definitely going to have one day. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> if you have something you'd like to hear us talk about, please send us a message at fruitsalad.whatsthemix at gmail.com. We super look forward to hearing from you and keep smiling, friends. I'm Tabby. And I'm Gio. And we hope to see you beautiful people next time. Ta-ta. Bye-bye.